Hey guys, it's Marcus Swainston with Horror Junkies of Utah. Here to talk today about Halloween the Novel. It's written by Curtis Richard, who actually goes by Dennis Etchingson. Curtis Richards is just his writer name. Um, interesting thing about this book is he did the first Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, and The Fog, all his novelizations. So he's actually done quite a few um, John Carpenter and Deborah Hill films. Um, reading this book, you know, it comes across a lot like a screenplay for the movie. It's based on the screenplay, but it, you could almost start reading the book at the same time you're watching the movie, and you'll end up in kind of a scene-for-scene -scene format. Except the beginning. The prologue um, kind of goes in-depth on the Samhain Druid Festival stuff, and then the beginning chapter, chapter one I believe, um, goes into a lot of Michael Myers being a kid and kind of follow him around a little bit more, gives a little bit more character to Judith Myers as well. And during the book, not that a lot of the scenes change, but you see them from Michael's perspective, which was really interesting. A lot more gore in the book, though, than ended up in the movie. Um, not that that was surprising. you got to add more detail in books. Um, but, yeah, a lot more gory. You know, I often think if we rated Halloween now based upon the world's, uh, what would you call it, the world's realizations and everything, I think the movie would be rated PG-13. If I was to rate the book, though, it would be R. A lot more... Um, explanation on the sex scenes, the murder scenes, everything like that. Uh, but yeah, you know, overall it was a good read. I just think um, nothing really special about the book either. The movie was great. I just think this followed it word for word for word. So if you've seen the movie, you've almost read the book. Um, but pick it up if you're interested in it. Uh, you know, it does have a, a lot more characterization of Michael, you know, by seeing scenes from his point of view. That was really interesting. Uh, the one thing that I would recommend is you're not going to find it in a bookstore, unless you're lucky. It's actually been out of print since the 80s. I had to get mine on eBay, and they're pretty penny. And let me tell you, when I got mine, it was in good condition. I let one of my little dogs get to it. And they tore it all to hell. But um, other than that, it was expensive when I first bought it. It's probably no more than a paperweight now. But hey, it's a book. Yeah, I could still read it. But check it out if you can. Find a cheaper copy. Unless you're a huge Halloween fanatic. I personally am. That's why I paid a penny for mine. A pretty penny for mine. And now mine's worth literally a penny. Um... Yeah, I'll probably try and find Halloween 2, read that, see how it, did, it is. It was a good book, just nothing, wow, you know, inspiring, special. It's not going to have a bunch of stuff in it that's not in the movie. And reading some online reviews, a lot of people didn't like it because it included a couple different key points that weren't in the movie. I enjoyed those, actually, seeing another person's perspective on the story. Um... I just thought there could be more, maybe more story. There wasn't, though, so very small details, which were interesting. Check it out. Halloween by Curtis Richards. This is Marcus Swainson, Horror Junkies of Utah. Have a good night.